welcome to craft time! This week we did a story time all about zoos and jungle animals and now I have a craft time full of crafts that will go well with our story time theme this week. Today we're going to be making two different crafts. We're going to be making binoculars two different ways as well as a big squiggly snake. Ooh. And you get to choose whether you do just one craft or maybe both of them. Or maybe you want to do one today and one in a couple days. However many you want to do. I'm going to start off by telling you all the things that you're going to need for each of the crafts. Alright, for our binoculars, you are going to need two toilet paper rolls, one piece of paper, some string, some scissors, a pencil and a ruler, some glue, you can use liquid glue or a glue stick, and some things to decorate. So you can use stickers, some fancy tape, markers, paint, anything you would like. And for the snake, you will need two to three pieces of construction paper, some scissors, a ruler, and a pencil, Glue, I would, I would suggest using a glue stick because liquid glue will take a lot longer to dry. Some markers, stickers, tape, anything you'd like to decorate. And if you would like to make some cool scales on your snake, some bubble wrap and some paint. We are gonna begin with our binoculars. So take out your two toilet paper rolls. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna decorate them first. Now there's two different ways you can do them. So first, you can decorate them just like this and you can either use markers or crayons or paint. And we're just gonna paint it. Or if you'd like to color it with felt pen, you can color it with felt pen or crayons. But I'm gonna use some paint today. Good, okay, so I got those two all painted. And I'm gonna move it over to the side because these can be so wibbly wobbly that it can be super tricky to paint or color on these. So another way you can do it is you can use a piece of paper. You might need mummies or daddies to help you with this part and that's okay. So mummies and daddies, you can just measure it out and cut it out so that the paper is the same length as the toilet paper rolls. Then what you get to do is you get to decorate the paper. So I'm going to do some coloring with some markers today. So All right, so like I said, you can do that any way you want. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these back. Once this decoration is all done, you're gonna grab your glue stick. What you wanna do is you wanna make one big line of glue right on the side of your toilet paper roll. And then, Stick them together just like that. And you might need to press on it for a little bit. What we're gonna do first is put them on this. So now you have one side that you did all your decorating on. You're gonna flip it that side so that it's facing down so that on the top there's nothing there because this is gonna be the inside. And you're gonna put down your two toilet paper roll binoculars. You're gonna do one line right there and then put those in the middle and you know what you should also probably do some more glue 
right here to make sure that the binoculars do not slide out. So get some nice glue on there. You can even, once you stick those down, put some glue on the tops too so that they stick to. And then fold one side over like that and fold the other side over like that and stick it together. Now, again, this might take a little bit to to dry and that's okay. In the meantime, you can add a piece of tape. So I'm gonna do that just so it stays together while we work on the other one. All right, so once your little binocular parts are all dry, there's no more paint, wet paint on them, we're gonna put them together just like we did with the other one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our glue stick. You can use uh, liquid glue if you would like. It just might take a little bit longer to dry. And we're gonna put lots and lots of glue right along one side of the binoculars. Just like that. And then we're just gonna squeeze them together. Now, because the other one has a piece of paper that will hold it together and this one doesn't, I am gonna use a little piece of tape. So I have this fancy tape, but you can just use normal scotch tape, clear tape. But I'm gonna use this fancy tape so that it looks a little pretty. And I'm gonna put the tape in there and squeeze it together. There we go, okay. So that is your binoculars all put together. They will need to dry a little bit. The moms and dads, we're gonna need to poke holes in the side. And it's very important, kids, that we get mummies and daddies or grown up to help us with this part. Or if you have a big brother and sister, maybe they can help you too. So moms and dads, we're just gonna poke a hole in the side. You can use um, like a pencil or if you have a pair of scissors, a screwdriver. I'm gonna try a pencil and you want to just make sure not to poke yourself because that wouldn't be very good. And it doesn't have to be a big hole, just a little hole right there. I'm gonna do the other side as well. One hole in each side of your binoculars. Just one. And then, and kiddos, you can help with this part. We're gonna thread our, our string, our yarn, or whatever you're using, right through that hole. So poke it through just like that. And we're gonna poke the other one through the other side. And then we're gonna tie a knot at the end of each string, just like that. And just like. And then you have a little pair of binoculars, oh, it's perfect size, that you can wear around your neck and look through. So that's that one. Um, so if you don't use the paper ones, you just use the ones that we glued together, can do the same thing. So before that, if you wanted to add anything, stickers or maybe some jewels or something to glue on it, or maybe if you have fancy tape, you can put some tape on it. I do all of that first. There we go, I got some pink tape on my binoculars. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the same thing. So moms and dads, this part is for you, kiddos. Get your moms or dads or big sisters or brothers or anyone else that's a grown up to come help. There we go, okay, and then you get to thread this through the hole. Okay, so then we have our two finished binoculars. There they are. So you can go on a walk or maybe look out your window and see what kind of animals you can find in Squamish. All right, now let's move on to our snake craft. So you can do this two different ways. You can either start with a piece of paper and decorate it just like this, and then we'll cut it up into strips. Or you can cut it up into strips and then decorate each piece by itself. So I'm gonna do two different ways. So I'm gonna start with this piece of paper. I'm gonna use paint for this. And I'm gonna use this special little technique. We're gonna use some bubble wrap. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna push it into my paint. So I got lots of paint on it. And then push it onto my paper. 
Ooh, so it looks like that. See that? So it looks like snake scales. to dry so it's out of the way. Now you're gonna take another piece of paper. This is the other way you can do it. What you can do it is you can cut them into strips first. Now sometimes you might need mummies or daddies to help you with the cutting part so mummies and daddies I'll tell you how to do this part just so you know. You're gonna take a ruler and you're gonna measure it down this way. Not this way because this way is gonna be too long. You're gonna do it this way. And if you have a ruler, you're just gonna put it down so that it's straight across and draw a line down. And then move the ruler over to the pencil line and draw another line until you get all the way down. And then cut out each of those strips. So you have a bunch of strips that look like this. So I have a whole bunch already cut out and then what you get to do is decorate them. You can decorate however you want. I'm going to use felt pens for this but you can use crayons or paint or you can glue stuff on them or use stickers but I'm going to use some felt pens. I have these three, and then I made some more. So I have that one, and this one, this polka dot one, and this one, and this diagonal striped one. So I have all these different. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these ones. And uh, then we're gonna have also the other one. So I'm gonna have a really long snake. So I'm gonna put these to the side and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so here is our paper for our snake that we made our little snake skin design on. And now here's what we're gonna do. Now, again, this might be a part for moms and dads, but you can definitely help out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ruler. You want to work on the side that doesn't have any of your artwork on it, okay? The plain side. You're going to take a ruler, line it up on the edge of the paper, and then just draw one straight line down. And then move it down and do it again. And we're going to do that all the way down to the bottom of the page. Okay, once you have all your lines down, this is where you can cut along the lines. Now, all right, now we get to assemble it. We get to do the fun part. So let me get my orange ones. So I have all my green ones, I have all my orange ones. You're going to need a glue stick for this. You take your glue and you take your first piece of paper and we're going to roll it up and glue it just like that. So we're going to put some glue on this end and then make a circle and press it together. And there's our first one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some glue on this second one and then we're going to loop it through the first one just like this. It's like a little bracelet and then make your loop and press the glue together. Then you're going to take your next one, put some glue on one end and now you're going to thread it. I'm going to thread mine through the orange one just like this, just like this and loop it and 
stick it just like that. See how we're making a little chain? And then you're gonna do that for all of the ones that you have left. All right, so here we have our snake. <gasps> Look at that. Now what you can do too is if you have any, where's my markers? Right here, you can draw two little eyes. I'm gonna draw two eyes right here. And two little nostrils. Where's my red? Let me get my red out. Ooh. Stick it good together and make a little snake tongue. And there you have it, a little squiggly snake. Now make sure you press really hard on those ends so that it stays together. And there we have our little snake. And if you have googly eyes, you can put some googly eyes on it. There you have him. You can hang him up around or he can go slithering on the ground. Our snake. And if you made our binoculars too, you can hide him somewhere and then look around the house to see where you can find your snake. <laughs>